about 12 o'clock now and uh, I have to work out a little earlier today. Alright, so today we're doing a shoulders and legs workout. Again. This time fasted. <laughs> so uh, I usually work around uh, 5 to 6 p.m. after one or two meals. But today I was busy in the afternoon. So um, I trained in the what I call morning. <laughs> about uh, 12 around lunch um, yeah so the first exercise I did was the standing press I did it uh, reverse pyramid training style of course and uh, something worth noting here is that I decided to lower the weight I'm using in my first set from 65 kg to 62.5 and uh, I did more reps instead I did six reps and uh, the reason I decided to lower the weight was because for about four weeks in a row I could only do 3 or 4 reps with, with uh, 65 kg. I consistently failed to add that 5th rep in my, uh, in my first set so I could increase the weight next time. Um, because of that I started to become afraid of this exercise. I was nervous that I was going to fail again when I went to the gym. And uh, what I learned is that you cannot progress a lift that uh, has been stalling for a long time by doing the same thing. You either have to change the exercise or you have to change the rep range. And uh, at first I wanted to change the exercise. I wanted to do either the seated military press. I tried that for one week, but uh, it, it just didn't feel right. I, f it, it, I felt it like it was an incline bench press. I felt it in my pecs. And uh, I really don't like working with dumbbells, so I could have done seated dumbbell presses, but uh, dumbbells don't allow for, for microloading, and I prefer to use barbells. So what I decided to do instead is to lower the weight on standing press to a weight I'm comfortable with, and then build back up from there. And that's what I did. We'll see how things go from here. Next I did some uh, hanging lateral raises. This is a variation of uh, side raises that uh, I've seen from, um, I've learned from uh, Mike Matthews from Muscle for Life and uh, I got curious to try it out. It's actually pretty cool, it's a pretty cool exercise. I've been doing the conventional lateral raises for months and uh, I got so bored with them, I needed a change. And uh, that's, a, that's a top tip right there. When an exercise stops being fun, change it. Because if you hate an exercise, you're not going to make progress on it anyway. So why keep on doing it? Um, that's why I changed the conventional lateral raises. I got bored with them. Just make sure that uh, for the side delts, you are doing high reps. You're doing an exercise where you're doing high reps every set. Because if you're using a weight that is very heavy, you will feel it in the joints instead of the muscle. You won't feel the muscle working. I think that uh, uh, the side delts and the real delts respond much better to higher reps. That will trigger uh, though that high high volume and high reps will trigger that sarcoplasmic growth, which will will give your shoulders that uh, rounded look. Then I went and did uh, leg presses, and um, yeah, because I want some. Uh, additional leg size and if you're just looking for size you can do either the leg press or the squat or you can do both if you want because uh, they are equal in terms of hypertrophy because that's really on only about uh, progressive overload if you can add weight to an exercise the muscle that uh, is worked will grow but if you're more interested in full body strength then go with squats because those strengthen your entire body much better and um, the the strength you gain on squats transfers to other movements much better than uh, the leg press all right then uh, i moved on to leg extensions again higher volume and higher reps the great thing about leg extensions is that uh, they hit the vastus medialis which is the teardrop like muscle on the inside of your leg uh, yeah, they, they hit this muscle group very well. It's pretty hard to target that muscle specifically. You can do that with uh, single leg exercises, 
like pistol squats or Bulgarian split squats, uh, but leg extensions are another good isolation movement for that muscle group. Okay, so I finished with that and uh, then at the end of my workout, I am doing uh, skull crushers. Skull crushers are my favorite triceps exercise because it allows for uh, regular loading in weight. Because I'm using a bar instead of some machine or dumbbells, I can add those very small plates and increase the weight by only 1 kg at a time. This is very important because the less weight you can lift on a certain exercise, the larger the percentage increase will be when you add weight. For example, if you're doing uh, skull crushers with 30 kg, which is about uh, 66 pounds, and you add uh, 2.5 kg on the bar or 5 pounds, that's a 8% increase in weight. So you are going to lose reps for sure when you increase it by that much. Now, on the other hand, with microloading, you can add only those uh, 1 kg, uh, those small plates, only 1 kg in total or 2.5 pounds. And this way you increase the weight by only 2 or 3 percent. So uh, your progress will be a lot faster because it's easier to slightly increase the weight and, keeps the, and keep the reps the same than it is to add reps to an exercise. And finally, at the end of the workout, I did some abs, some uh, leg raises. Getting abs is 90% about getting lean. Yeah, of course, you need some muscle development, but uh, getting lean is the key to abs. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, how did we survive that? To activate the Kashi camera, the board. In case you don't have any of the bad. Alright, guys, so uh, I got some street food and um, a friend dropped me off after the workout. I need to, to eat something because uh, I trained fasted and, of course, I need some nutrients. And um, now I'm gonna go uh, pick up some, some shirts that I did, some t shirts, some personalized t shirts. I'm gonna show you that. Now I'm gonna finish this and uh, I'll head there. which is the company that makes my t-shirts. Salut, Florin! Salut, salut! Deci astea sa? Da. Bă, e si foarte bine. <laughs> foarte fain. Bă, asta chiar aveam emoții un pic cu el, că cum era gri. Știi, uh, am crezut că nu, nu o să iasă, dar e și foarte bine. Alright. Asta cu Monica, a fost ok? Yeah. Da? Mă bun. Alright. Ok, <laughs> mersi mult, Florin. Pe data viitoare. Pa, pa! Time to load up on some protein. Mm. 
what I have here is um, 600 grams of low-fat cheese with bananas, raisins and some um, strawberry syrup. This will be my last meal. It's a deliciously looking pizza. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. I do appreciate your time as always. Uh, your feedback is welcomed in the comments. And um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this and I'm gonna watch some uh, uh, through, the wor through the wormhole with Morgan Freeman with, with my bro. All right, see you next time.